decision to derecognize de certificates awarded by some African universities is still generating reactions. In Port Harcourt, some of the affected students staged a peaceful protest to appeal to the government to reconsider its position. Correspondent Uchi Okoro reports. According to the Ministry of Education, some universities in Togo and Benin Republic awarded fake certificates to more than 20,000 Nigerians. And so the degrees from these alleged illegal institutions would be cancelled. <laughs> this announcement has caused panic amongst these students and their parents. <laughs> they are beneficiaries of a scholarship by a church Omega Power Ministries to study in some of the affected universities. They disagree with the government's report and its negative implication for their education. I am a computer science student. I have the skill, yes, but as I got there, they upgraded me. Both in their science, their faculty of law, everything is legit. I don't know for other schools, but my school, we are well disciplined and well principled. You can just you cannot just come into the school and get your certificate for six months. You have to tour, you have to work hard. The sponsor of the students expressed shock at the development, saying the due process and channels for verification of the foreign universities were followed. Before I started this scholarship, I personally went to the Minister of Education, Abuja, to verify if ESN is accredited. Number one. Number two, will the student be able to do NYC in Nigeria? And all this was confirmed positive before I even paid the first school fees. Before I even paid the first school fees. So it was that guarantee I got from the Ministry of Education, Nigeria, not Benin Republic, Nigeria Ministry of Education. That was what made me to put in. The appeal to the government to have a change of heart. President Bola Tunumbu, you're a father. Look at these mothers. Look at these children and consider. Let this policy be reversed so that the children can go back to school. Because they're supposed to go back to school this September. Let them go back to school. Please, Mr. President. Please consider them. All the orphans and the widows, please. They have, they have sacrificed a lot just to put us in school, please. The protest also calls for a review of some policies to make it quick and easy for students to gain admission into Nigerian universities. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt. And to politics, ahead the Edo State Governorship election on the 21st of September, some leaders of the People's Democratic Party in the state have expressed confidence of winning. The side competence of the party's flag bearer, Aswe Ugudalu, and the performance of Governor Godwin Obasaki as a yardsticks for the electorate to vote for PDP. Again, Iken Amichi reports, and then we'll return with a business updates. Stay with us. It is just three weeks to the Edo governorship election, and campaigns have intensified as parties make effort to woo electorate with their manifestos. For the ruling PDP in the state, the performance of incumbent governor Godwin Obaseke and the competence of their governorship candidate put them way ahead of other candidates in the race. For, so for us in Edo State, you could be rest assured that's why Godalo will beat the people's the All Progressive Congress with no less than 150,000 votes at the polls. The People's Democratic Party has done meritoriously well under the leadership of the able governor Godwin Obaseke. Three independent opinion polls have been conducted, independent, by reputable um, organizations, and they have put our candidates in a very comfortable 68% lead. Plus, we have a governor that has performed, so we have you know, a precedence. We have a good, you know, story to tell, but more importantly, we have a good candidate to take off from the foundation that the government, you know, has uh, laid. 17 political parties are contesting for the governorship election next month, and for the PDP members, their candidate is coasting to victory. Edo State is work in progress. Where Obaseke has stopped today, we need somebody who understands the workings of government to take it from there to the next progressive level. And that next level of progress can only, only be achieved by just one candidate right now in the race, and that candidate is the candidate of the PDP, that is Dr. Aswe Igodalo. Since 1999, Edo State have had four governors 
at the hems of affairs and it has been between the APC and PDP. Iken Amechi, TBC News, Benin. Hello and welcome to Business News. The Federal House of Representatives Committee on Commerce says it is committed to working with the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria for stronger and collaborative efforts towards the growth and development of businesses. The Chairman House Committee on Commerce, Mr. Ahmed Munir, said this during an oversight visit to the FRC's office in Lagos. The visit provided an opportunity for the community to gain insights into the operations and activities of the FRC as well as to strengthen the collaborative relationship between the community and the council. We will ensure that entrepreneurs in Nigeria are able to receive all the necessary support needed in their commitment to make significant contributions in creating a new Nigeria of improved and revitalized economy, sustainable employment for our teeming youth and making our country regain her frontline position as the bedrock of economic growth and development in Africa. We have had the challenges of the uh, reporting council uh, then uh, we'll collaborate and uh, see what we can do. Uh, they have the challenges which has been elaborated and uh, we will see what the committee can do about it. We are trying to see how you know they can be able to function uh, very well uh, so that, uh, of course, uh, the, 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 the whole machinery of government depends on them because they have to make sure that government agencies do the right thing. Their visitation today uh, is inched on the fact that uh, they want to know how we are doing, they want to know areas of uh, challenges, and uh, we had a very, very uh, deep dive into our activities and areas where we need support. So we've discussed that at a very uh, close level and we believe that their support is something that we can look forward to and that it will contribute to our future success. Uh, we are so happy that we have uh, you know, a very mindful, a very supportive uh, committee like that. And the Lagos State Government, through its Ministry of Agriculture and Food Systems, has selected 50 local chefs to participate in the maiden edition of its Eco Flavors competition. The Commissioner for Agriculture and Food Systems, Ms. Abisola Olusoya, revealed this in a news conference in Ikeja. Eco Flavors Project is a culinary platform for food vendors and chefs to showcase their talents and interact with food enthusiasts starting with the shopping process at an organized market. If you come to the Motion Fresh Food Hub today, you have babies being brought into the market without fear of any malhandling or, you know, just the general fear of you want to take a baby into a market, you have to think twice or you want to take your children on an experience with you to understand how it is that the food they eat, this is where it comes from. That is a wonderful experience that the chi children are having nowadays. And we even have cases where schools, you know, come there with the children on an excursion just for them to understand a bit about the food systems and give them the exposure. Aside that we felt at such a time as this, we can all band together as one public and private sector and still help the culinary world get the exposure that it deserves, put our food on the map, as well as just make some people's lives so much better. We can't do it by ourselves, you can't do it by yourselves. Coming together, pulling our resources together, we feel we'll be able to do the right thing for the people. And the stock market has continued its price recovery trend at the exchange market following trade gains. The market index, which measures price movements in trade sectors, surged by 0.18%. The gainers in the market were Berger Paints, Deep Capital, 